everyone, it's Emily, and today I'm back with another tutorial, and this is my very first charm tutorial. And this is on a charm that I created myself, um, and it is my swaddled baby charm. So, I recently made this little baby stroller, um, from the channel Looming with Cheryl, so check out that channel, it's really great. Um, and I made this, and it's, I've... I made this baby before from Marloom's Creations, um, and I really like it, but the baby's a little too big for the stroller. And then I found this one on YouTube, and this one fits, but it's kind of creepy because it doesn't have a face, and it's just really tiny, and doesn't really look like a baby. So I decided to make one of my own. And this is how it turned out. So it's a little swaddled baby and I just think it's so cute. And I added hair and as you can see I made a whole rainbow of babies. So I did a bunch of different things to give you guys some ideas. So that one has blonde hair. That one doesn't have any hair. Um, I just... I messed with a bunch of different skin tones, different colors, different hair colors. They all have the same eyes because those are the only beads I have. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. So the supplies you need for this project are your loom set in the normal um, position, a hook, around 18 skin color bands, around 23 um, bands for your blanket two colors if you're going to do hair and two beads for the eyes and if you don't have beads then I will also be showing you how to do it with black rubber bands or you could do blue whatever color you want your baby's eyes to be um, and I said like about because I'm not exactly sure I counted but I might be a little off so just around those numbers for rubber bands um so yeah let's get started by placing the bands so the first bands that we're gonna be placing are the head bands so you are going to take your loom and with the arrows pointing away from you grabbing two skin color bands at a time going from the center peg up to the right And you're going to go up one, and then go in to the third peg in the center. Then you're going to go back to the start of your loom and do that on the other side. and you're using double bands this whole time. Then you're going to take another double band another double band and go from the center up one and then close that off. So you should have um this hexagon shape right here. And now we are ready to start placing the blanket rubber bands. So for the blanket, you're going to take whatever color you're using um, for the blanket. And again, you're using double bands. So I'm using glitter blue. So you're going to take that color, again, two at a time. And you're going to go from the third peg in the center up to the third peg to the right. Then you're going to go up one. These glitter bands can be kind of hard to work with. Then you're going to go from the center, right here, and do that twice. And then on the other side. So you're going to go from that third peg in the center up to the left and up one more time. Now what you're going to do 
is go up one more time on all three rows. Like that. And now you're going to pull the side the side bands in. So you're going to grab two more rubber bands, pull them into the center. Grab another two, go to the other side, and go into the center. So on your loom, you should have two bands, double bands the whole project, and you're going to have your head right there, and then for the blanket, you should have three, um, well technically six bands going down to center. You're going to have eight bands on both sides. If you want your blanket to be a little bigger, then I would go one more row, like right there. But I think it looks best when the blanket is this side, because, I don't know. <laughs> so now we're going to place our cap band, and you're going to cap this off a total of three times. So, one, oh, I just lost it. All right, now we have to place our holding bands. So for the holding bands, and yeah, you get to see a little bit of my bookshelf there. Um, but for the holding bands, you're going to take a single band this time, the color of your blanket, and stretch across those two pegs and make a triangle. You don't have to do a triangle. It just makes it easier when you're looping. Then you're going to go directly above the triangle you just placed and do one more triangle. Now we just have to place the holding band for the face. So for the face, you're going to go whoop, stretch across those two pegs and make another triangle. Now we have to make the eyes. So there's two different ways you can make the eyes, and I'll show you both ways. The first one is using your beads. And if you don't have beads, you're going to want to use rubber bands for that. So the beads, the making the bead making the eyes out of beads are easier, and I think they look better, but if you don't have beads, then obviously you're going to want to use the rubber bands. So to do the beads, you're going to take your skin color rubber band, pinch it up towards the top, and slide that little loop through one bead. Then you're going to grab your next bead, pinch the other side of the band, the same band, and slide that one on. So like that. And we'll, we'll deal with the spacing in a second. And to make the one with the rubber bands, you're going to want to take one skin color rubber band and two colors for the eyes. So I'm going to use black, but you can use blue or whatever color. So to do this, you're going to need your hook, and you're going to take one black, and you're going to wrap it around the hook a total of three times. So, one, two, three. So you should see four rings on your hook. So you're going to slide that back a little bit and do that with your other band. So again, there's four rings. So now we're going to put that on the band. So you're going to take your skin color band and put it on your hook and then you're going to slide the black bands over just like that so now we have our eyes made now we're ready to put them on the loom so to put on your eyes you're going to take the band that has them on 
and you're going to grab both ends and stretch them across those two pegs and then separate the eyes so that there's one on either side of this band in the middle and then either with your hook or your fingers you're going to grab the center part of the eye band and stretch it so that it's wrapped around that second peg right there then you're just going to adjust your eyes so that they're about even you know you don't want them to be like that or anything so just kind of adjust them and now we are ready to start looping so to loop your baby you're gonna go your you should have flipped your loom around by now um, and you're gonna pull back that cap band and grab the top set of rubber bands so whatever two are on top and then you're gonna loop those onto themselves so it depends what order you placed your bands and you're gonna go in and grab the next two top rubber bands and loop those and then there should only be two left and mine go to the center so you're gonna pull those into the center like that then you're gonna go in it doesn't matter which side you start with I'm just gonna go in on the right side pull back all the bands and grab those two on the bottom and those I'm gonna pull forward then I'm going to go in ugh. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in the center and I don't have to pull back any bands here loop those forward and then go into the other side and loop those forward and some of the bands came off my peg as you can see it doesn't matter if they do as long as you've already looped everything but I just think it's easier if I put them back on if they fall off so now you're gonna go back into the peg that you just last looped grab the next two loop them forward go into the center loop them forward and into the other side and loop those forward so now you're gonna go on both sides you don't have to pull back any bands you just have to go right in and pull those into the center do that on both sides okay now this part is always really tricky for me so you're gonna go in to this center peg right here and there's a lot of bands here so you want to be careful grab the top two and carefully loop them forward because you don't want to break any bands and I actually did that pretty well this time I usually grab the wrong ones Then the last bands are easy because they're the only ones that are left and you're going to go onto the side like that. So now we're ready to finish up our baby by looping the rest of its face. So to finish up the face, you're going to go in to the sides, grab those two bands that are there, pull them forward, go into the center. And you're going to want to pull back the eye band, grab the two that are in there, loop those forward, and then go to the other side and do the same thing. Now we're down to our last two bands. So you're going to go in on both sides, grab the only two bands that are there, and I just lost mine right there. Okay, so then you're going to pull those into the center peg. And do that on the other side and pull it into the center so your loom should look like this so now what you're going to want to do is grab the color that you're going to make your hair so I'm using brown and you're going to go take your hook into that last peg there go through all the bands 
and stick it out the other end. And you're going to take two colors for your hair and put them on your hook and slide them back through and put that on your hook. So now we need to tie our slip knot and to do that first I kind of want to loosen these up. To tie your slip knot you're going to separate them so that there's two rings that are separated from each other. You're going to grab that the one that's closest to the end of your hook and slide it over the other and pull. And so that actually helped mine help me get the first group of bands off the loom, which is usually the hardest to get. So then you're going to gently take the rest of your baby off the loom. So you don't want to just yank it off, you want to kind of wiggle it around like that. So this is my finished product for my baby. So I'm going to just fix my eyes a little bit so that they're popping out a little more and that they're even. And then there's going to be some like bands that are kind of poking out there. You're just going to pull around on his blanket to make it so that it's more circular like that. And there you have your baby. And if you did not want to do hair, um, you would just use the same color band for your slip knot as the skin and then you could tuck that and hide it away. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and I hope you enjoy your new swaddled baby charm. And just for fun, comment which one of these you like the best. So there's all the colors of the rainbow. And then there's the new one that I just made. My personal favorites are this little green guy and the pink one. I just think they're they look the best. They didn't have any bands sticking out or anything. So please subscribe to my channel for more Rainbow Loom tutorials, reviews, collections, and more. And like this video. Um, and thank you again for watching. And have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.